It is a picturesque riverside town in Jiangnan. I watched the silk flying before the fabric workshop, but couldn't stop sighing. Business was miserable, and I sullenly let down the bamboo curtain and turned my eyes away from the deserted street. The lucky thing is that I can stop worrying about customers. Since not long in the future, this year's Wushu tournament will be held in town. Many unfamiliar faces appeared when I went out shopping as usual. They were probably coming for the tournament. Miss, watch out! <laughs> Aww, he looks so good. As I was thinking about it, I accidentally ran into someone. Ouch. <laughs> I stumbled and fell, and the dyes and fabrics in my arms scattered beside me. It was a young man in Sotman's attire. He hurried to pick me up and apologized. Then he went down to collect my belongings. Oh, excuse me. I was new here and got abstracted. Oh, miss, I didn't mean to run you over. I couldn't help but laugh and crouched down to get my things with him. What are you staring at? Do you like the town so much? <sighs> it is unique. I would have missed it if not for this opportunity. Opportunity. I glanced at the long sword on his back and understood what he meant. M miss? Can I help you carry these back to your residence? You gotta accept it. Seeing him picking up my fabrics, I sold my excuse and changed my mind. Thank you, I own a fabric workshop. A look of surprise quickly passed over his face. You can call me Sean. Aw, Sean. <laughs> Sean is cheerful and talkative, and he's curious about life in the town. I waffled on that on the way back. I'm not bragging, but the Lucille shop is a household name in town. You bet it is. So why are you still worrying about the business? No matter how beautiful the silk is, it cannot replace rice, oil, or salt. One or two bolts of cloth are already enough for them. I see. As we talked, my shop came into sight. I invited Sean in for rest, but he shook his head and declined. I'm so sorry for what happened in the marketplace. It's nothing. Sean, good luck in the tournament. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It was only in the room that I noticed that there was dye on my dress. The fabrics covered it before. Well, I think this is might be a bit too formal <laughs> for the occasion. The day after the routine procurement was sunny, a great time to dry the dye fabrics. It took me lots of effort to drag the bamboo baskets full of dye fabrics all the way to an open ground. The bamboo swayed and rustled in the breeze. While I put up a rack, a familiar voice came from behind me. Nice to meet you here, miss. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, he looks so sweet. And like innocent. <laughs> I followed the voice and saw the young man leaning against the railing. Oh, look at his face. So pure. The golden sun draped a shimmering veil over Sean as the willow branches danced in the air. I didn't notice it that day, but his outfit. I didn't expect to meet you again. It must be fate. It must be, Sean. It must be. 
He smiled handsomely at me, his long hair fluttering like green willow branches. I didn't expect to meet him here. Why did he come here? When I came back to my senses, Sean had already crossed the corridor and was coming quickly at me. He was tall and straight and behaved like a swordsman, but different from those swordsmen I usually saw. Are you here to dry the fabrics? When I nodded, he plunged forward to hold the rag that was about to topple over. Do you mind if I help you out? Aww, I can't say no. I love the music, by the way. This is one of the dynamic poses. Yeah, I love it. Many visitors will come for the tournament. That will be a rare opportunity to come by. I picked many colors and dyed many fabrics in advance. We worked together to hang up those fabrics on the racks and they were like colorful waves as the breeze blew. I couldn't repress a sigh of admiration when seeing Sean move between racks and hang the fabrics effortlessly. Sean, you must come from the capital. I meant to tease him, but Sean was so shocked that the fabrics almost slipped out of his hand. Oh my gosh, look at his expression. <laughs> How did you know that I'm from the capital? He did not refute me, so I was correct. I was so happy that I asked him a question first. Can a swordman tell the faction of another swordsman by the way they wield the sword? Absolutely. Your black robe tells me about your sword play. Your robe is mainly made of yunjing with cloud and wave patterns. There are golden flowers and leaves as well as a dark red silk lining. It is seldom seen in Jiangnan, so I guess you must be from a faraway place. The suspicion in Sean's eyes was replaced by surprise and admiration. You have observed so many details. I am impressed. Now I can believe you are an expert. I was drunk with the sincere words of admiration. Oh, I'm drunk with looking at his face. <laughs> but can you keep this secret from me? That you are from the capital? I smiled and said yes, thinking it was normal for swordsmen to have their secrets. Of course, talking about other secrets is not what I do. It was late with a flickering candlelight. Time to go to bed. At that moment, I heard a heavy clang and ear-piercing sound of broken root tiles from outside. What happened? I should bar the door now. Oh my gosh, what happened? I crouched behind the door and only pushed the door slightly open. After the sounds of swords and spears outside faded. It was tranquil except for insects chirping in the bushes. What I heard earlier seemed to be an illusion. The moment I stepped into the yard, a cat cry rang abruptly over me. Meow! What? Oh my gosh. I looked up to find a man crouching on the eaves. Sean? Sean put his finger between his lips and gestured at me to keep silent. I was confused and took a step backward in alarm. Uh, uh, I am sorry for scaring you. Can you listen to me first? I always smell the faint smell of blood in the air when I got closer. Sean, you... He shook his head and cut me off, then stared at me with determination. <sighs> Sorry, I lied to you before. I am not a swordsman coming for the tournament, but a captor on a mission. 
a captor. According to Sean, he was ordered by the court to secretly hunt down a notorious villain. Ooh. They have been tracking him for years, but never caught the elusive villain. Sean came here for the news that he was seen in the town. We secretly followed this villain tonight, but he was already aware of us. We not only failed to find his hiding place, but also lost big time. <sighs> One of us was injured in the fight. We can't go back to the hotel, for that would expose us. I knew he was no ordinary man, but I never expected such danger. I thought about it for a moment and then asked, what can I do to help? You must want something, right? You are smart. <laughs> uh, we would like to stay here for one night, if that is okay with you. Yes. Wait, what? Why is she hesitating? <laughs> I finally said yes. Sean's eyes flashed and he was ready to leave. Wait here for a while. I'll be back soon. I will meow to signal then. Oh, he winked his eye. Do you guys see that? <laughs> he winked. I went back to the house to get ready for tonight. I trimmed the kennel wig and carried it to a corner. Sean and his fellows were resting and healing their wounds. It was not long ago that I learned that Sean was not a swordsman, but a captor after a villain. Who is that villain, and why is this wound so difficult to heal? The bleeding barely stopped after an hour. Sean and the captor were drenched in sweat, and even I got stressed out. Maybe to comfort me, a man packing the bags answered my doubts. They call him Serpent Chen heard of the name? He is the best with concealed weapons. Several years ago, he was involved in a fight in Jinling, and many residents were hurt and killed. We began to hunt him after that. We planned to take this opportunity to defeat him. This opportunity? You mean that man is also here for the tournament? <laughs> Serpent Chen always conceals his whereabouts, but he likes to make the scene. I am afraid it will be more difficult to catch him later on. After taking care of the wounded, Sean washed his hands and walked up to me. Thank you. If it weren't for you... I was in a trance seeing his handsome face and the swaying candlelight and his sincere eyes. Oh. Don't mention it, Sean. What would you do next? Though it didn't work today, the lucky thing is that he didn't see my face. Doubting Serpent Chen may likely walk away if he found that he was followed again. But how should we know his whereabouts since the tournament will start tomorrow? I suddenly had a plan listening to his murmurings. Leave it to me. I promise to get the information. I mean, no offense, but you're a girl. I trust you. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> you can guess where I came from only by my outfit, and you are brave. But remember not to run into danger. Don't worry, I've been running my cloth shop for years, and I have the connections. I patted my chest while Sean puckered a smile and bowed to me. Then I am counting on you. The night was deep when I entered the restaurant with Sean, but it was still crowded. Sean and I scanned the lobby with people sitting in groups. Is he here? Yes, over there. I turned my head to see a craggy and strong man drinking wildly with piles of bowls and plates before him. I knew I could get something valuable here in the largest pub. I raised my hand to stop the waiter and put some silver in his hand. After whispering, Sean and I were led to a private room on the second floor. I 
was wondering who it is. Aren't you... What are you doing here? And this is... Right, I weaved a bowl that was perfect for you, so I was here. I stuffed a vermilion satin, prepared all the air into her arms, and praised her for her beauty. You sweet talker. What do you want me to do? I told her the plan almost pleadingly. She said yes and went back to the lobby. Sean and I pretended to talk by the railing as we watched the hall downstairs. Serpent Chen was too far away that we could only hear a few words when he got loud. Looking really drunk, he was bragging about his martial arts at the landlady's tout. I am definitely one of the best ones. <laughs> Today I even fought off a crowd who tried to rob me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, his like laughter. The one sitting before you is the winner of tomorrow's tournament. John and I looked at each other and breathed a sigh of relief. It looks like it's no intention to quit the tournament. Then tomorrow we will... His voice suddenly stopped. I have a horrible feeling. I froze and glanced down the stairs. Instead of drunken eyes, he now looked like a beast looking for prey. I thought he was already drunk, but he was still keen. His cold eyes looked all around the inn and finally landed on us. You. Oh no. The moment Serpent Chen got up and started to talk, I grabbed the fabric bowl and shook it violently. The fabrics embroidered with delicate patterns fell from the railing, stretching like a colorful cloud in the air. <laughs> it glowed and shone like a rainbow against the candlelight. All eyes were attracted to it. Even Serpent Chen was frozen. Hey! How dare you solicit customers in my inn with such fanfare! I also giggled to wrap up my hasty act. That was close. The tournament began as shadow. I was turning the dye fabrics to ease the anxiety of waiting. As planned, Sean will defeat Serpent Chen in today's tournament and capture him. After Sean escaped from the inn last night, we met again briefly in my cloth shop. You saved my life! <gasps> we will capture Serpent Chen as planned tomorrow. I'm glad to be of help. Then... Just leave it to us. Don't go to the tournament. Why is his voice so echoey? Suddenly? I froze when seeing his solemn look. I knew that it would be dangerous when you capture the villain, but... Fabrics of various colors flooded under the wind. My thoughts were in turmoil too. A figure appeared among the fluttering fabrics. I know you are here. Sean! I hurriedly stopped my work and walked up to him. Was Serpent Chen caught? Are you hurt? Sean smirked and opened his arms, showing me that everything was fine. Don't worry, we made it. I may not be good at disguising, but when it comes to martial arts and swordsmanship, it may not be the best nationwide, but definitely the best in the capital. Oh, I love it when he smiles. <laughs> His eyes curved. I was finally at peace and learned his way to tease him. So, the best captor from the capital, can you help me turn these fabrics? My pleasure. <gasps> oh my gosh! We got some alone time with Sean. Yay. The bolts are rippling gracefully to the breeze. Thank you so much. Aw, thank you. His thanks came through the breeze and the fluttering fabrics, along with a smile. My fellows and I would remember this adventure for many days to come. <laughs> I can't help smiling when thinking of the adventure after the collision on the street. My eyes are probably dazzled by the colorful fabrics, 
that I faltered and fell backward. Aw, Sean caught me with his back. Before I could say anything, he chuckled and tipped his head to see me. <laughs> did you get abstracted by the fine view as I did before? Oh my gosh, I loved her. I flushed at his teasing, but I subconsciously turned out the corners of my mouth. Hey, the capital's best capture is fast, right? I turned around to find that Sean had turned most fabrics and he was smugly nodding to me. Let me help you. Ouch! <gasps> he turned around trying to help me, but he tripped over as our hands were intertwined. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> With a splash, we fell into the lotus pond. It was not deep, and I quickly got to my feet. Are you hurt? Sean stared at me nervously. Well, I couldn't stop laughing as we both got soaked. Oh, look at his eyes. He's genuinely concerned, you guys. <laughs> he seemed to flush because of my words. At last, he dodged my eyes and sighed. Never should a swordsman be so arrogant. <laughs> I am going to lose the reputation built up for years! We looked at each other and Booper stopped laughing. The sun is warm and the bamboo is rustling. It was like the day we first met. Give me your hand. <gasps> Sean half knelt by the pond and reached out his hand to pull me up from the pond. I'll send you back to change something warm. Otherwise, you'll get a cold. He's so sweet. <laughs> Several days after the tournament, what happened that day remained a hot topic in the neighborhood. The captor from the capital flew up the stage with a swish. As the word spread, I heard many crazy versions of the story that left me shaking my head. The next day, the captive set out to escort the villain back to the capital. Before setting off, Sean came to my shop again. I know no words can express my thanks, but thank you again. If you want to thank me, promote my cloth shop for me back in the capital. Lucille's Cloth Shop. <laughs> Good quality and cheap price, loved by all. <laughs> I will. It will be my apology for spoiling your big business. Since you asked, I will let all in the capital know about your shop. With a smile, he waved goodbye. It was a year later when we met again. Shortly after Sean left, the orders from the capital poured in. There's dye fabrics prepared for the tournament finally could be sold and business started to flourish. Time flew by and it was the tournament again. Interrupted by the arrest, the tournament resumed. This time I'm going to make some serious money. I was thinking about it and headed out for routine shopping when a familiar figure caught my eyes. Sean! Sean! Yay, he's back. <laughs> he was leaning against the wall where we first met. At the sight of me, he walked quickly. It seems that you no longer worry about the fabrics business now, do you? I must thank you for promoting my fabrics to the capital. Wait a minute, Sean. Are you here for another mission? I am here for you, and for the martial arts tournament. You saw me soaked wet when I said goodbye last time. I will show you the splendor of the capital's best capture this time. I am waiting. After confirming another meeting, Sean confidently waved goodbye to me. I could already imagine his perky face when he became the last one standing. My heart started to pound quickly, Maybe because of his vigor and vitality. Ah, it's a phone call from Sean. 
Good morning. Did you sleep okay last night? I love it when they zoom into his eyes. Wow. You dreamed about me? What? I did? I mean, <laughs> yes, I did. A swordsman version of me in a tournament? It sounds interesting. Did I win? Oh, wait. All that was just a dream, you guys. Yeah, all that was just a dream. And now we're in present day. Oh. Hey, you woke up before the tournament ended? What a shame. You seldom dream of me. I wish that you could see a handsome version of me. You're already handsome. Uh, it is nothing. I must have won even if you missed the ending. Well, though a captor after a villain, I have to be best in the capital, right? <laughs> you said the same thing in the dream. You seem to know me very well. But is it possible that you missed the ending because you hadn't experienced it in reality? I mean, do you want to see me practice martial arts sometime? You can check out if I can be the best at capture or not. <laughs> then this weekend, it is a deal. See you then. Oh, he's asking me out. Okay, and that's it for today's Ally Stories for SSR Sean Youth Journey. Honestly, I really enjoyed this one because I think Sean always has a very vibrant personality and just makes your heart so warm. <laughs> and I think he's just so pure and innocent. So. I always love any scenes with him. Yeah, so I haven't done ally stories in a long time. So if you guys still enjoy this type of content, do let me know in the comment section, okay? And I'll yeah, I'll continue to make more of these in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.